Hello everyone, in this Dreamweaver tutorial we're going to be installing an automated commenting box system from Discuss.com. Now comment boxes are great for allowing people to communicate and interact on your website. It also gives you a way to communicate back with your target audience. So here's what it looks like. It's the last thing to load up on your page so all the rest of your page content will load first before this loads so it won't slow down your page load time at all. The other great thing about this message system is that it will send you an email every time you get a message on your website and you can also reply from your email and it will dynamically upload onto your site. OK, are you ready? OK, so here we are at the Discuss.com website where you can sign up for the commenting box system. It's completely free, so don't worry about that. Discuss is D-I-S-Q-U-S dot com. And uh, I'm not going to teach you to suck eggs. I think you know how to fill out a form. So uh, just put in your site, e uh, your site URL, your site name and a short name for it. And also the primary moderator. So that's going to be username and password and your email address so you can update it as and when you please. And when you're ready just click continue. Okay this is a section where you um, connect it to all of your social networking tools so if you've got Facebook you can connect it up it will ask you for an API key uh, so it will sign you into your Facebook account and then it will give you a code which you can then put into uh, the Discuss system and uh, signing up with Twitter as well if you've got an account with uh, twitter.com you can um, just give it your username and um, allow it to hook up so it will dynamically put any messages from there into your Twitter account as well which is pretty good now at the installation screen because we're using Dreamweaver we're not using any platform like uh, WordPress or Tumblr or Blogger or Joomla, we're going to be using Dreamweaver so we'll be needing the universal code which is down at the bottom under other or custom so if you grab your code from there and click on that button now the first line of code you see is the code that you're going to need to paste into your web page so wherever you want the commenting box system to appear that is where you're going to paste the code so it will appear exactly if you put it at the bottom of your page it's going to appear at the bottom of the page now the second snippet of code you're going to place just before the closing body tag of any page where you have installed the first line of code for the commenting box system and that's the reason why it's going to load up it's going to be the last thing to load up on your page and therefore not slow down your page loading time okay so let's pop over to Dreamweaver and I'll show you a page that I've installed it onto Okay, here's my master template. This is where I draw all of the pages for my website from. So if I just go and split the screen so you can see the code view as well. And what I'll do is I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page just before the closing body tag. And you'll see that I've installed the code there. It's a JavaScript function. And what it does is at the end of the page, when everything else is loaded, it will go and call on the Discuss uh, website and bring in the comment inbox system onto your front page. Now, for it to do that, we're going to have to put in the rest of the code. So we're now going to navigate to a page where we can put in the rest of the code for it to work. OK, so here is a page that I've already completed. Um, I've already put the code in for this, but I'll show you where I put it. Now, at the very bottom of the page is obviously where you're going to want your commenting system to be, generally. Um, so here it is. Once it's installed, it's, um, it will just show this short line of code. Now, what I've done is I've put it inside a div tag, and I've positioned it using a margin attribute in CSS. So we'll go and have a look into the code and see what I've done. So I'm going to press the Alt key and I'm going to click inside the div tag and I will find the CSS rule and there it is and I've pushed it to the left uh, by 60 pixels and it's got a width of 550 pixels. 
Now, when I installed the code for the comment box, what I did is I put my own div tag around it so that I could manipulate that div tag. Uh, my first attempt was to try and uh, manipulate the div tag that come with the code. Um, and this is what you can see just here. That didn't work out. So what I did is I put my own div tag around it and changed the width settings to fit my page that way. Okay, so let's go into code view and I'll show you exactly where I installed my code. Obviously it was at the bottom of the page and uh, just at the very bottom of the article. So I pasted it in and then I put a div tag around it called disk script. You can call it whatever you want to. And then I created a new CSS rule based on my own div tag that was wrapped around the code. Okay, so once you've installed it and you're happy with where you've placed it, you can go and check on the page again and make sure it's all okay and where you want it to be. And um, it, the great thing is it's the last thing to load up on your page, so it won't affect your load time in the slightest because people are going to have to read the article before they even come down. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you.